Hey everyone, I'm Jen Mayer and this is our small group extra or midweek moment and this week we are talking about the fear not message series. Father Mike was talking about fear of death and the power of witness and so I want to ask you a somewhat bizarre question which is who is Eleanor in your life? And to give you context, I want to talk about um, some friends of mine, Bill and Cindy. I met them uh, through the Becoming Catholic process. I was in charge of that. And they appeared one day and said that they were interested in becoming Catholic. And uh, not just them, but their whole family. So they had three uh, teenage kids. Um, and as part of the process, I always ask, well, kind of what brings you to this place now? Um, and they were talking about their neighbor, Eleanor. So Eleanor had had some kind of tragic death in her family. I can't remember the circumstances quite, uh, quite about who had died or why it was tragic, but what struck me was they were talking about that they Bill and Cindy stood in awe of Eleanor's faith at that moment of death that there was something about her faith that had just allowed her to deal with her grief and move on in a way that really took caught them by surprise took their notice and really caused them to say well what do we believe and i don't know quite what she has but i want that i want that kind of faith in my life and so they came to the church and we started a year-long formation process with them because they had not grown up with a whole lot of faith um and fear of death was a really concrete thing in their lives because he worked uh, with one of the national intelligence services and would time from time to time be deployed to one of the stands. I can't remember again which one um, where fear of death was when he was deployed was real um, and concrete and um, it the change in him was amazing as he he walked through the process of coming to faith and coming to to understand these things and dealing with past mistakes and and hope and victory and so that whole process of all of our beliefs came together because of their neighbor Eleanor and her belief that life was not ended with death it was changed and that we could have hope um, and that we could find comfort in our loss. So all of the way that she dealt with that, and I'm not saying it was easy for Eleanor. I'm saying that despite how hard it was, there was something in the way that she, her faith supported her that was so attractive that an entire family came to faith. And so I want to ask you, who is your Eleanor? Who is there? Who have you seen who has dealt with death in such a way that it has bolstered your own faith and made you think I want that level of faith or I I have that level of faith because of her or her faith helps me strengthen me on my weekdays and maybe you're at the point in life where you've been through one of those experiences and you've been Eleanor for someone else and you can you, you know the power that I'm talking about. Um, but whose belief or whose faith in time of crisis and death has helped bolster yours? So that's our question for this week. Have a great day.